Every day we hear shocking news, young, seemingly healthy people collapsing due to sudden heart failure. Many of them had no warning signs, their health checkups look normal and yet tragedy struck. This has created a huge fear. Can it happen to me too? But here is some hopeful news. A study conducted by our VRoots research division on epilimogenetic reports has revealed insights that can actually reduce this fear. Today I will explain to you in simple language what we found, why it matters to you and how you can take action to protect your heart. Please note that I am not a medical doctor and this is not a medical advice. I am just giving you this information from absolute research. Let's start with the pain we all feel. People with healthy lifestyles, no smoking, regular exercise, still collapsing suddenly. Families losing loved ones in their 30s and 40s with no clear reasons. And routine reports, cholesterol, ECG, sugar, all normal, yet a cardiac event happens. The fear is real. It takes people wonder if medical tests cannot predict it, what can? That's exactly why we studied 500 epilimogenetic reports to find deeper answers hidden in our biology. Here is what we discovered. Out of 500 individuals with genetic risk for heart failure, 334 people, that's about 67%, had a genetic predisposition to prolonged QT interval. Now, what is QT interval? In simple words, it is the time your heart takes to recharge between the beats. If this interval gets too long, the rhythm becomes unstable, leading to sudden cardiac events. But here's the most important part. More than 80% of these people also had a genetic risk for magnesium deficiency. Why is that important? Because magnesium is a key nutrient that keeps the heart's rhythm stable. Without enough magnesium, the risk from prolonged QT becomes much worse. This is like having a weak wall and then removing the supporting pillar. It collapses faster. Let me give you a simple example. Imagine your heart is like an electrical circuit. The QT interval is the time the circuit takes to reset after each cycle. If it resets too slowly, the current can spark out of control. Now, magnesium acts like the stabilizer of the circuit. If the stabilizer is weak or missing, the system becomes even more unstable and the chance of a short circuit or in this case sudden heart failure increases. So it's not just about one factor, it is the combination of prolonged QT and magnesium deficiency that could be creating that real danger. This finding actually brings hope. Why? Because while you can't change your genes, you can do something about nutritional deficiencies. If we know in advance that someone has both risks, we can take preventive steps like improving magnesium intake through diet or supplements and monitoring heart rhythms more closely and making lifestyle modifications to reduce stress on the heart. This means sudden heart failure is not always unpredictable. With personalized genetic testing and intervention, we can catch risk early and act before tragedy strikes. So what does this mean for you and your family? One, don't rely only on routine reports. They are useful, but they don't reveal hidden genetic risks. Two, check deeper with genetic testing. Programs like EPLIMO help identify if you have risks like prolonged QT or magnesium deficiency. And three, personalized prevention. If your report shows magnesium deficiency risks, focus on magnesium rich foods, nuts, seeds, leafy greens, or take medical advice on supplementation. And four, stay proactive, not fearful. Knowledge of your unique risk give you control instead of living in uncertainty. So here's the key takeaway. Sudden heart failure is not always random. Many times it is a result of hidden risks working together like prolonged QT interval and magnesium deficiency. By identifying these risks early through programs like Eplimo and making personalized changes, you can protect yourself and your loved ones. 
Now I want to hear from you. Do you know someone who had a sudden heart issue despite being healthy? Share that story in your in the comment because awareness can save lives. If this video gave you clarity and hope, hit like, share it with your family and friends and subscribe for more science backed insights on health and prevention and human performance. Remember, prevention is power and knowledge is the first step to freedom from fear.